I've known Dr. Green probably over 20 years. I remember her from when I was a student athlete at Hampton University. I graduated in 91. And she was the volleyball coach and basketball coach at Fayetteville State University. And I didn't know her personally. I just remember her being on the sideline and just the presence that she had with her student athletes. She was an educator, a teacher of the game, but very encouraging. Though she was intense, as most coaches are, um, but she was also very encouraging, saying stay strong, stay focused, um, and have a passion for the work that you do. Such a strong leader and had always surrounded herself by strong leaders like a John B. McClendon, um, Big House Gaines, um, her AD at the time, Dr. Burns, James Battle, um, but very influential, you know, as we always try to find a seat at the table. Somehow she did um, by the way that she carried herself and the things that she brought to make change. When I think about Dr. Green, I think about this book by Queen Latifah. It's a children's book, but it really talks about the queen of the scene. Um, and it says, I'm the queen of the scene, baby, I'm a star. I can make dreams come true. Um, and things look easier than what they are. You should stand tall and be your best. Um, and all you have to do is believe in yourself. And that's something that Dr. Green, I think, has always spoken existence for herself, but also for me. Um, she's such a great mentor. Um, she's selfless. She deserves this award for so many different reasons. She is someone who has fought the path uh, for so long, um, have created the path for someone like me to be in the position that I am. Uh, Dr. Green is well respected in our conference. She's well respected in the community. And we're just so proud of her uh, for all the things that she does and the presence that she continues to make. For over 30 years, Josie has been a mentor, colleague, and dear friend. Josie started as a grassroots teacher and coach in two Philadelphia high schools, Pencrest and Swarthmore before moving to the college level at Hollins and Dartmouth. Her prowess as a coach and her ability to bring out the best in her players landed Josie numerous coaching stints with the United States lacrosse team, including head coach of the 1986 World Cup team. She has been inducted into six halls of fame, including the National Lacrosse Hall of Fame. Perhaps the one she most cherishes is the Dartmouth Wearers of the Green she received in 1999. She is one of only eight women coaches to receive the honor in the 32-year history of the award. After retiring from the sport she loved, Josie accepted an administrative position at Dartmouth College. She took the final step in her professional career in 2002 when she accepted the position of athletics director at Dartmouth, becoming the first female to sit in that seat, both at the college and in the Ivy League, where she is best known for her voice of reason. Josie has a tremendous sense of humor. In fact, she was ultimately accepted well by the Old Boys Network at Dartmouth that the class of 1947 made her an honorary member. Josie is the one you call when you need advice. Not only will she listen and provide counsel, but she challenges you even when you don't want to hear what she has to say. In her own diplomatic way, Josie is straightforward and not afraid to go against the norm or shy away from tough issues. That is one of the main reasons she has had such a positive impact on student athletes, coaches and administrators at Dartmouth, in the Ivy League, and nationally. Josie is the ultimate advocate, person of conviction, and mentor, a champion for many. Yeah.